So, hey guys, Chaozo here, back with another team against Arena Hawkins, and this time we're going with a pretty heat team. We're talking Kiku and Iso captain with Burndy Roll as sub. Does it get the name any better? I don't think so. Uh, it's not a mono shooter team, but it's a shooter focused team. Five units are shooters, and if you remember Kiku and Iso's captain ability, that's what they want to give you one orbs for bottom row. But in order to just make the team work, like for example, Sabo and Aces special wants you to have a Luffy unit, and there's also seed reduction we need to deal with, we need extra damage, we need a high captain multiplier. So yeah, I just ended up putting the super, uh, uh, super super fast exclusive Luffy on the team. I don't use him much anyway, so I don't really mind. And yeah, we're going to be using the stall stage 3 strat. This lets us ignore the attack down here. And another bonus with having the Luffy here is that his hunger removes the hunger here. Which is a pretty big plus to be honest. Another cool thing with this team is that we're using the Koi. And this is not... It's actually good here since it does give a chain boost. And stage 4 does have the chain attack down, so it makes it easier for us to deal enough damage this stage, like chain boost skill are a lot more valuable versus stages like that. And yeah, we stalled it out, we can finally start attacking a bit. I'm just waiting a bit for the chip I guess, and not only that, actually recovery bind sucks here. I'm actually stalling out the recovery bind. Uh, I think this is the first time I've ever stalled out Recover Bind. At least in the past year, it's very rare that Recover Bind 1 happens and 2 matters. But it actually matters here since I can't heal any HP final stage. But I can now, it will be gone. So, yeah. Going to use the uh, classic strat here of using Sabo and Ace this stage. As you see, we had Rise of Support on Kiku and Iso to give end of turn damage. Use Usopp to remove the Rainbow Shield, also give a bit of an attack boost. And the Koi, of course, for the chain boost. And yeah, even with all these buffs, uh, the damage is a bit iffy. But we do get the kill. Like, the damage doesn't look iffy there, but actually when I didn't have this, the Soba support on Usopp, I did too little, so yeah. It's, it's more close than it looks. So yeah, I haven't talked about Burn the World, but if you don't know what he does, he removes all attack down, which is obviously going to be super good for the revive. Uh, post revive though, we do use Kiku and Iso here. We still have the orb boost from Sub and Ace, we extend it, buff the chain lock, and we can get the full ball of one orbs from Pudding now. And yeah, Pudding doesn't remove enough debuffs, but we do have the support Robin with the super MVP here. Both removes the extra stuff we need, and heals, and adds damage reduction. So basically, Pudding is as good as it gets here with the Robin, and without the Robin, she's not that great, funnily. But yeah, managed to save a few Wano Orbs for the revive. And we're just going to use Burnley Whirl, remove the attack down, swap Sabo and Ace for the color affinity, and yeah, let's get the kill. That's the kill. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.